Don't no man want no bum ass female with no motion. Like you bitches be so comfortable with sitting on y'all ass with no motion. It's a difference if you making that money from that bed. But if you ain't making no money from that bed and you just on that, you just scrolling, bitch, your priorities is messed up. You need to you need to reevaluate yourself because it gives bum bitch. Shit, if a nigga giving you money, you don't have to do nothing, bitch. At least cook and clean. You always be letting the laundry pile to the top of the ceiling. Dishes piling all on the counters and shit. Like, what is wrong with y'all? You hoes is nasty. It's over for you thoughts. It's over. It, it, it ain't that time. It's over for y'all. The, the other thoughts made it bad for you. You only take a break when you are in a solid relationship. Why are you taking a break in a solid relationship? Let's start there. Then you need some space to figure things out away from your partner. Yeah. What? I would lie. When a hunt tells me I want to take a break, the first thing I'm thinking is, hey, hey, hey. But where, also, you who, also where clearly... Are you going? That's where trust comes exactly. in. Exactly, well. you don't trust your hands. No, I don't trust hands. <laughs> period. <laughs> period. <laughs> period. I don't trust. Bro, bro. That's a you problem. Well, when Ahan asked you to take a break, she, they, they've done it to you. Bro, Ahan was on a break. Yeah. My friend called. Hey. They told you to keep quiet. Hey. You, you know, you, you know those situations. Yeah, but that's also now projecting. Why are you projecting? No, other I've been things? in too many situations like that. But, but that's remember, not a problem. But the person you are dealing with, do you trust them? Or not? Nothing. Is this your own situation? I told you. Okay, then that's then, your problem. Then, that's yeah. not the problem of taking then a break not, as a concept. Uh, okay. That's a you problem. Yes. A Sino problem. An answer? Sino needs to work on <laughs> no, that. No. You need to talk to your gender. Your gender must stop this thing. Yes. But you also okay, need to work speak, on yourself then. You just need saying, to dig deep. I'm, I'm just saying. No, like, look at me. Speaking, you need to... You know what's funny? Whenever a man decide to get into a committed relationship with a woman, he don't really take a break. Is either we together or we not? Usually, the whole take a break thing, that's something that women demand whenever they think the grass is greener on the other side. Fellas, whenever you hear a woman wants to take a break, she pretty much wants to smash another dude. And usually how it goes is she's She's gonna take a break go and smash another dude and if the other dude wants to be in a relationship with her she will give that other dude a chance however if she smashed the other dude and he don't want to commit to her she's going to come back to you and that's when the break is going to be over but once a woman take a break bro she is either going to smash another dude or she's going to attempt to smash another dude or she's going to go on a date with another dude but the bottom line is she's going to give another dude with a opportunity to smash i'm just keeping it a buck when a woman is in love with you fam she don't want to take no fucking break from you she don't even want to be away from you for more than an hour much less a break a break from a relationship and she's into you impossible fellas so if you hear your girl talking about a break let that bird fly high all right do not take a woman back after she go on a break once she go on a break leave her alone that's just the bottom line what made you want to cook? I learned how to cook, like, just going over social media and everything. I'm like, the women like a man who going to get in that <laughs> kitchen and go crazy. So I'm like, why not go even crazier by throwing some seafood? As right. future say, all bad women eat seafood, yeah. so might as well go with the pescatarian. Natural. <laughs> <laughs> That's very Have you true. ever got cheats off your cooking? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Without a doubt. You cook like a real gourmet meal for a woman, she going to go beyond like belief what she was going to do if she didn't have no food in her system. Especially if you go crazy, you got to wear the apron too. I let her come over. I made like a the same salmon mm -hmm. and like some scalloped potatoes. She cold. She came in the room, no questions asked, hang, hung the head off the bed. Oh. And I was just doing tea bag motion. Nice. She hung it off the bed by herself? Oh, no. I directed I said, you know, lay on your back and just be free. And she <laughs> let me do me. My nigga. <laughs> Look, every man got to have a bait, right? Your bait is what you use to pull chicks. Like, everybody got their thing. So this dude, he know the birds love to eat. So what he did was become a chef. Whatever. Me, personally, I'm not cooking for no bitch. I'm just keeping a buck with you. I ain't got time. And then it's like, shorty, you got to impress me. See what I'm saying? Like, I'm not about to cook for you. Then I'm also going to give you good dick. Like, what you giving me in return? Because I always need a R 
ROI, time is money, people. I'm not about to be in the kitchen, chefing some shit up just to fuck a bird. It's a waste of my time. Me personally, you know, a chick should try to impress you. Like, like yo, let me show this nigga I could cook because I want to impress him. I'm not about to go out my way to impress her. Like, for what? But your fellas have to value yourselves out here too. And doing things like that to get pussy is cool. But as a man, don't spend too much of your time trying to impress women because you could spend that time just by self-improvement proven and what's going to happen is women will now try to impress you it's going to be reversed because if you gotta cook for a bitch and then you gotta dick her down what is she doing for you like that's that's just my thing like what is you doing for me because i'm all about you know time is money so so when it comes to things like that i don't really go above and beyond to impress a woman that's just me but if that's what some of y'all dudes have to do if that's your bait do what y'all do just don't spend too much of your time trying to impress a woman because at the end of the day like you doing all that shit just for a nut you see what i'm saying because that's really what it comes down to you so you got to chef up because cooking takes takes time so you got to take time and chef some shit up all that just to feed her feed the bird then you put a smile on the bird face then she got a full stomach so now you make your move to fuck her that's cool if that's what you want to do but again but again fellas don't feed the birds that's just what it is <laughs> I, I should never, I feel like it should be so easy to be with somebody and I don't need to be asked questions 24 seven, like where you at, where you doing? Like you should, I think it's sexy when a man is too busy to talk to me. Why are you speak? Why do you want to call me 24 seven? Why are you texting me 24 seven? Translating. I have finished translation. I am a young female that desires to be single, but also wants the benefits of being in a relationship. However, I want to be treated as if I'm not really a girlfriend, so that I may participate in single girl behavior. Using the excuse of your insecure as a shaming tactic to keep my man from truly thinking this is a traditional relationship, this will ensure his subservience to my actions, and it will allow for me to do whatever I want, while still benefiting from a consistent male's attention. I'm making this video because I'm about to expose this bitch, and I gotta hurry the fuck up before they see me sitting outside. Listen, that's my son's Kevin's car, right? He's over here. This is my friend Nikki's house. So, another friend of mine, he, I didn't kicked him out of my house like a month ago, right? Ain't heard from his ass. He's supposed to be living with a roommate. I don't know where the fuck. Every time I ask him, he talking in riddles and shit. I don't know what the fuck. So I'm worried about him at this point, because he ain't calling me for no food, no money. Like, I'm, I, I'm worried he into some shit. Out of the blue, my friend called me. Say she see him over here coming, bringing groceries in the Nikki's house because her auntie live in this damn neighborhood, right? So she tell her auntie, oh, that's my friend's son over there. And she like, oh, I was wondering who that little young boy was because she, been, she I know she like young boys over in that house. And this boy looked too young. So I was like, her auntie knows this shit, but this time I'm glad she fucking was. Because her auntie told her that she, he done been over here. Kevin done been over here. She took going to go tell me Kevin been over here for a minute. I don't you know, I, if, if Kevin was over here, I should have sent his ass over here. This has been my friend for 18 years. I don't know. So what the f*** is he doing? He up here laid up. This why I heard from him. This why he asked me for no f***ing money. Bitch. This is my son. She know I don't play about this shit. I'm about to go in here and I'm about to drag him the f*** out of here. I'm telling y'all right now. If they don't open the door, I hope this f*** got insurance. I'm telling you, I'm leveling this shit. Because I don't, I, I can't believe she got my son him baby up in here like this. Like, I want him to be on his own, but look at this shit. This is fucking car, y'all. Look, she got his fucking grandkids car seat and my son car. He ain't got no fucking grandkids. He ain't got no kids. The fuck you doing? Got him out here like some old ass man. He ain't got no fucking job.
Nah, this right here is crazy. So his mom kicked him out the house and then she's acting like a jealous girlfriend when she found out that he's sleeping with her best friend. Like, come on, like he's tired of being a mama's boy. He's trying to spread his wings out here. And it is what it is. Listen, man, and no wrong with smashing a, a cougar as a stepping stone. See what I'm saying? Because look, a cougar is going to welcome you in. She's going to cook for you. She's going to rub your feet. She's going to put some money in your pocket. She She's going to hold you and she's going to motivate you. She's going to inspire you to get your shit together. So sometimes that's not a bad look for a young boy who's trying to get out of his mom's house. You know what I'm saying, fellas? It's a fact, bro. Sometimes nothing is wrong with messing with a cougar, fellas, if you're trying to get back on your feet. It is what it is, but mom's just acting like a jealous girlfriend. It's crazy. Please leave your thoughts in the comments. It's your boy, AQ. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'm out, man. Peace. What baby mama are you? I'm, I'm baby mama number three. Number three? Answer. Yes. And I'm number three to my first one, too. It's pretty sad. Why did you become number three baby mama? He had a baby with the second girl. He has th it's three of us. The first one, he got two. The second one, he got two, but he had one. Then he had one with me. Then he went back and had one with her again. So, yeah. yeah. This many? No, he got five. He got two with the first one, two with the second one, and one with me. Now we're finally here. What kind of man are you looking for? So I'm looking for a man that's just pretty much respectful, uh, one that could be a long-lasting, longevity type of man, definitely a great provider. You know, you ain't got to be super rich and balling, but, you know, got to be up there. Um, Ooh, how much Carl? you gotta have? Um, I mean, at least you ain't got like I said, you gotta be super rich. At least like make six figures, you know? That's cool. At least six figures. So at least a hundred K. At least a hundred K. That's not too hard to ask. Especially nowadays, a lot of people be making that money, girl. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They be making that money. Making that money. Did your baby daddy make a hundred K? I don't think so. But he was not too far off though. It was it wasn't too far off. He, If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. You all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch.